everyone. This is a review of Jewel Scent Gemstra Wax Melts. Um, the reason there's two company names is it's the same company. Uh, they both make candles and wax melts using a natural soy wax blend, not 100% soy, which is good. Um, and the Gemstra, Jewel Scent and Gemstra both sell the same products. But the Gemstra site also sells home decor items, cosmetics, and apparel. They're actually in the process of transitioning to the Gemstra site only. Um, they're, uh, none of their fragrances are tested on animals. They're all made in the USA. And what's nice about them is you can buy the wax melts with or without the jewelry inside. So I actually specific, specifically asked to get the wax melts without the jewelry because I don't care about jewelry. I just want to review the scents and I'm not going to be reviewing the uh, jewelry, but I did get one. You can see this is bigger than the other ones that had the jewelry in it, but I asked the girl who sent it to me to just take the jewelry out because, again, I don't need the jewelry. I don't care about that. Um, I reviewed the Essentials wax melts, which are the wax melts without the jewelry. I really enjoyed these scents, even though most of them smell different than what I expected based on the scent names and the notes, uh, which was okay because they smelled great. In general, they threw quite well, but most of them didn't last very long around one to two hours maybe, although there were several that lasted much longer and I did make a note of that. The girl that I worked with is Sandy Newstein. She's the Jewel Scent Gemstro rep that I've been working with. She provided fantastic customer service. She really knows her products. She was a breeze to work with. Um, you can order the Jewel Scent Gemstro products at the link that I provided below this, um, this video and also on the text version of this review. Um, if you've never seen my reviews before, um, there are two things to note. One is I don't look at the scent notes until after I've finished my review because I don't want my nose to be swayed by what I think the scent should smell like. And the second item is if I put the wax back into the clamshell, that's just a note for me that I'm not going to keep that scent. If I don't keep a scent, it might be because I don't like the scent. It might be because it doesn't throw well. Most of the time, 90% of the time, it's just because I have too many wax melts. I might have a lot of scents that are very similar to the one I'm reviewing. It doesn't make sense for me to keep it when I have so many others and I've, I'm kind of running out of space already with wax melts. Uh, what I do with the leftover wax is I put everything into a box. And when I have enough leftover, um, I sell them on Facebook and I donate 100% of the proceeds to charity. Usually my favorite charity, which is farmsanctuary.org. Yeah, try this again, farmsanctuary.org. Um, so that way everybody wins. Um, you know, I don't make money off the wax melts that I get and um, someone gets to buy them and buy something that they would not normally have, you know, considered buying before and give to charity. So it's, you know, it's a win-win. All right, so without further ado, we will start with Bamboo Rain. The notes are, a fresh fragrance with a watery floral complex intertwined with a modern clean bamboo heart and a smooth musky hyacinth background. This is not a bamboo scent at all. It's an orange scent with maybe a rich berry note and possibly a hint of grapefruit, but it's not a citrusy orange. I love this scent and it lasted for at least five hours. So that was another good thing. And the throw was bold. Five out of five. It was a scent monster that took over the entire house. Definitely a winner for me. Next is birthday cake. Notes are, the sweet cake scent has a bold vanilla presence with hints of fresh butter, creamy anisic notes, and warm sugar vanilla. This is just a vanilla cake scent. It's different from the vanilla bean scent, which I'll review a little bit later. Um, this one is sweeter with a slight bakery note. I also detect a hint of nuttiness, I think, and looking at the scent notes, I don't detect any anise at all, which is good because anise smells a little bit like licorice, and I don't like licorice. The throw on this one was strong, 3.5 to 4 out of 5, which is, an, which was kind of nice because most vanilla scents don't throw, tend to not throw that well. Next, we have Calm Lavender. The notes are lavender with hints of geranium and some sheer woods notes. This one smells fantastic and very strong on cold sniff. It's a very authentic lavender scent. 
It has just a hint of sweetness, but it's not a floral or a powdery lavender scent. It has a little bit of that slight sinus clearing eucalyptus note, but it's also not an overly medicinal lavender. I really like it and the throw is medium, three out of five. Next is cherry blossom. Notes are ripe berries and maraschino cherries. Maraschino? Maraschino cherries blend boldly together for an aroma reminiscent of spring's first blossom. White musk adds a touch of daintiness to this blooming bouquet. This is not a cherry blossom scent at all. A cherry blossom scent is not made by, by mixing cherries and floral. But, and that, that's what this is. It's basically, it smells like black cherry mixed with a little bit of a floral note. Very strong on cold sniff. I'm not usually a fan of black cherry scents because they tend to be a bit too harsh. But I really like it mixed with the sweet floral. It's a really nice scent. There may also be maybe a smidgen of vanilla. And the throw was medium, 3 to 3.5 out of 5. Oh gosh, my cat gets his hair everywhere. Next we have cinnamon buns. The notes are warm ground cinnamon melds with freshly baked bread and is accentuated by sweet notes of piping hot icing. This is probably the only scent so far that's true to its name. It's a fantastic cinnamon bun scent with a sweet, rich vanilla buttercream frosting. It's very cinnamony but not annoyingly so. And I'm not a huge fan of bakery scents, but I really love this one. And the scent lasted for at least five hours, and it was strong. The throw was strong, four out of five. So that was definitely a winner. Next we have Guava Mai Tai. And, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to Floral Bouquet, because that's next. That's the next letter. Floral Bouquet, again... There was jewelry in this one. I asked the girl to, I asked Sandy to take it out before she sent it to me because I don't want to keep jewelry if, you know, I'm not paying for it and I don't really care about the jewelry. I wasn't reviewing that anyway. Floral bouquet notes are sweet pea petals, violet and cassis. Fresh cut stems, strawberry and musk tones add an earthy aroma. This smells like, <laughs> smells like fake sweet banana with a bit of a floral note. It's actually a really nice scent. Looking at the notes, it's probably the combination of violet, cassis, and strawberry that smells like banana to me. The throw was medium, three to 3.5 out of five. So next we have guava mai tai. Notes are guava enhanced by lemon and orange, milled with hints of sweet apple blossom, tropical pineapple, and ripe melon. This one smells like orange with a hint of a tropical fruit note. It smells almost exactly like bamboo rain, but it's slightly sweeter with a little bit of that hint of tropical fruit. And it's a nice scent. The throw was medium, three out of five. Next is, ja is jasmine flower. The notes are white floral notes of jasmine flower mixed with some fresh green notes and a hint of sheer musk. I love this scent. It's not an authentic floral scent, but more of a jasmine scented body lotion. And it's not overly sweet or perfumey either. The uh, throw was strong, 3.5 out of 5. Again, you know, I might, uh, I might actually keep this one because it was so nice. I, I, just, I just have so many scents. I, I can't keep everything. I have to think about that one. Next is Morning Dew. Notes are watery tones of watermelon, mandarin peel, green apple, and juicy passion fruit with fresh floral notes of wild rose, water lily, hyacinth, and tube rose. Warm caramel, vanilla, and patchouli blend together to form a sweet scent. Wow, that's a lot of notes. I've actually smelled this scent before and I really like it. It smells like an expensive perfume, but it's not overly sweet or perfumey. It's, it's not a fresh watery scent either, which I would expect based on the scent name. It has a little bit of warmth and floral and maybe a smidgen of apple. Looking at the scent notes, I don't smell all of those notes, but I, I'm sure they're in there somewhere. Throw is medium, three out of five. Next is sparkling champagne. Um, notes are a crisp blend of sweet muscat grapes, bergamot, and soft white florals. This doesn't smell like champagne at all, but it's a very nice scent. It smells fresh like rain, but there's also a smidgen of both a fruity, like maybe an orange type scent and possibly a floral note. 
It's not an overly sweet scent, and it's not actually a fruity or a floral scent, but it's kind of a mixture of everything. It's very difficult to describe, but I like it. Um, looking at the scent notes, the fruit I'm smelling is probably the grape, but it really doesn't smell like grape. It's just one of those scents it's hard to describe, but I, again, I do like it, and the throw was medium, three out of five. Uh, next, we have Sweet Gardenia. Notes are spring gardenia blooms blended with orange flower accord and subtle hint, hints of rose blossom. It doesn't smell like gardenia at all. It's an artificial scent, but I like it. It smells like air freshener with a fresh but slightly floral note and maybe even a vanilla note. And the throw is medium, three out of five. Next is tropical sunrise. Notes are fresh notes of orange, pineapple, and grapefruit come together in this exotic, citrus aroma. Armoise, I don't know what armoise, armois, armoise oil, soft red fruit, and vanilla notes add warmth. This smells like grapefruit with an orange note. There may be a smidgen of coconut whey in the background, if it's there at all. It's not really a tropical scent, and it's not overly sweet, but I do like it. The throw was only faint, two out of five. And last, we have vanilla bean. The notes are sweet vanilla with a creamy tonka bean accents, and soft powdery notes from the heliotrope flower. This is just vanilla with a slight nutty note. It's different from the birthday cake scent. It's not as sweet and it doesn't have the bakery notes. It is a nice scent, but the throw was faint, 2.5 out of five. So there you have it. Um, if you want to read a text version of this review, just go to scentedwaxmeltreviews.com and you will also find the link to um, Sandy Newstein's Gemstra website there where you can order these products. Again, I was very happy with these. Um, keep in mind that most of them don't, the, the, the scents don't last long except for the ones that I noted. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this review. Have a good day.